And here to talk to you is Vance. Go for it, Vance. Yo, what's up, guys? How's it going? I hope you guys are all having a great day. Welcome to another episode of Batman. Did you download? Uh, did you download your your, your card? You get excited. The plan? Yeah. I do. I'm not excited, but I'm not excited for the plan. I'm excited for Kingdom Hearts 3. This is weird being on with you. I'm not gonna lie. Why is it? I don't know. I never. I never thought this day would happen. Not in a bad way. Like I actually just never. Not, nothing bad against you. Just keep your. Oh my. You just keep dreaming, man. It's gonna happen. What can I say? Can you do? Can you? Can you please do me this favor? Can you do the Mickey and Friends Tram? Or just for me? You mean the Mario? Yeah, Mario. Welcome aboard Walt Disney World Monorail. As we depart the station and head towards the Magic Kingdom, you'll notice Disney's Polynesian Resort on your left. <laughs> Alright, that was uncalled for, but that was great. Uncalled for, you asked for it. Polynesian Resort. I didn't even know they had one. Oh, yeah. They have 23 resorts on property. Polynesian Resort. I like how you know this stuff. You swear? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's, it's my thing. It amazes me that you know all this stuff. You have an Animal Kingdom Lodge where animals come to your window in the morning. Oh, yeah, yeah, That's the... In, uh, in, uh, in, uh, yeah. I heard that one's really popular. Oh, it is. It is. Who doesn't want to get licked by a giraffe in the morning? I don't. Well... I'd be scared, good. dude. I'd be scared. Anyways, I hope Nico's is scared. I mean, Piranha Plant has like, the neck of a giraffe. That is true. That is true. And, and the mouth of a, of a, of a tiger. Yeah. No. What, are, what are your... Okay, real talk, bro. What are your thoughts on this game? In general, like, I, for those of you who don't know, Brian out here from Hollywood Esports, I apologize. This is going to be a regular commentary. I'll, I'll definitely try to go ahead and commentate as much as I can, but... They don't want to hear you. They, they, no, some people do, some people don't. No depends. Subjectively. So, my thoughts, I think it's a great game. I do play it. I, I pick it up every now and then. It's fine. Uh, but I'm not a serious player. Okay. So, I really just like to F around with people. Okay. Mostly. Uh, I'm more of a roller coaster tycoon kind of guy. That's what I've noticed. Yeah. So I, actually, the funny thing about it is you do you do that in real life. I do do that in real life. I also work for a company that builds theme park rides. Okay. So, yeah. I live a theme park bubble. I like really. it. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, your life is pretty wild. You're kind of everywhere about every day. Everywhere, every day, doing events all over, everywhere. So tell me, Brian, yes. Hollywood Esports. Yes. How did, how did you meet them? How, how, how did you start? Uh, so Hollywood Esports is, uh, think of it like the ticket master of okay. concerts. So uh, let's say someone like Nickelback, or sorry, someone good like um, Cardi B wants to have a concert, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, Weezer will go. Uh, okay. Good yeah, and bad. Weezer, Weezer pretty. Yeah, halfway good and bad. I yeah. do like their new album, too. It's kind of fun. They have, they have like one or two bad albums. Yeah. yeah. No scrubs. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. It's pretty good. So, uh, so what we are is we're like the ticket master. And uh, can you not hear us? I'm, I'm, I'm Mike, too. I'm Brian. So uh, what we are is if someone wants to have an eSports event at the Chinese Theater, mm -hmm. they come to Hollywood eSports. Much like a concert person would go to a promoter and go to Ticketmaster, Ticketmaster would facilitate the entire concert, right? Okay. So you're not going to expect, like, Weezer to do all the logistics of their own concert. So when someone like Hollywood, uh, like 2 wants to do an event, they come to us, they say, we want to do this event in the Chinese Theater, and we do all the logistics and put everything together. Gotcha. So, for instance, we had this really amazing Paladins tournament a couple weeks ago. Okay. Uh, it was really cool. All the players were here, but the casters and uh, uh, James times 100 uh, <laughs> these, uh, were in Atlanta. So everything was done here. Now, Hollywood Esports is actually owned partly by the Chinese Theater. Okay. Uh, and then partly by Mediumation MX4D, which is when you watch a movie and the seat shake. It's sort of like Shrek at Universal. Is the Shrek 4D When Shrek was there, yeah. Uh, or Star Tours. Yeah, that was there. Star, Star Tours is pretty good. Uh, could be better. But yeah. I like it. I, I stuff you need to start so. Um, so you come together, you help out. For those of you guys who don't know about it, I'm watching this episode. I'm so sorry. I apologize. Like I said, usually you guys are used to my commentary, but we're taking a little bit of a change here. Prime Plan at least. New 2.0 patch. Uh, I will definitely get to the much more commentary. A lot of good patches, too. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of stuff to win better. Wow. Um, see, this is the thing about you, Brian. A lot of people don't know. You you do know a little bit, right? You're, I do. Yeah, you, you're you not 100% like competitive, but you know enough yes. to be like, hey, I know enough to keep up with this. Yes, you know. I'm a giant troll. Huh? But for I, the I know you part, are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, I read the patch notes today. I was surprised they actually had patch notes. Yeah. Which was which was pretty dope. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was it was nice. I liked you guys having a scramble to download. Uh, Three. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it. To, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give him the credit because we did. It was a team effort. Just me, Javi, honestly. But I do want to give Javi the good shout out too because he did put in a lot of work. I was the one who kept unplugging the router. Sorry. 
Really? <laughs> I, I was I would try to download it and I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, just get them flooded. Did not help. So. Um, there weren't much nerfs about this latest patch. I, I was happy. That's what I'm happy about. I felt that there wasn't enough yet to, to warrant a nerf. There were changes, and some of these changes I liked. Nico definitely a fan of those changes. Uh, for sure. You know, he definitely talked about how Shogun can buff forward air less significant end lag, so they can go for forward air a lot more often. I'm definitely happy about that one. Um, for those of you who don't know yet, Brian, you hop out here for uh, Halloween Action Tuesdays. Thank you. You're the man behind the voice, telling everybody to get their wristbands, the concessions. Riding their asses. Um, Speaking yeah. of riding asses, uh, if you're going to roast any rumps, make sure you protect your stump. And tonight's game is brought to you by stump protectors. It's this really cool thing I invented where if you have a grill near a stump, you wrap the stump in a protector so when you light the grill, it doesn't light the stump on fire which happened in my backyard, so I invented this neat stump protector. So tonight's is game is divided by stump. Yeah, I did. So if you're going to roast that rump, make sure you wrap your helmet. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> I'm going to let you do you, man. Wrap, wrap that stump before you roast that rump. I mean... Absolutely. So Shulk is uh, Shulk's really kicking ass here. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty... Uh, pre oh. The, the thing about Nico, one of the best Shulk names out there, I think he is, honestly, in my opinion, by far the best Shulk main. Um, he's put on a lot of results, but not only that, just the way he came out from the last game, he knows a lot about Shulk. He, of course, has the power of the Shulk Discord behind him. They're, they're really fans of him as well, they know him. Shout out to the Shulk Discord. Uh, I know, I've, met, I've only met like two of them uh, back at uh, Switchfest. Tremendo Dude is one of them. Uh, I know Paradim and... and uh, but they do some really good content. Mm -hmm. uh, but Shulk, definitely one of those characters that, like, in Smash 4, on paper, you know, he sounded like the most busted character you could ever pick. Yeah. Right? And then coming into Ultimate, they just took everything that just wasn't as good as you hoped it would be, and they made it that way. You think so? Yeah. I still think there's some room. I, I mean, obviously, the release patch, they made some improvements, mm -hmm. but there's definitely room for improvements. And I think as gaming consoles improve mm -hmm. and peripherals improve, there's always room to, I don't want to say exploit, but there's always room to use those peripherals in that new... Uh, whether it's a PC or in this case a Switch, to uh, really make a better game. Okay. I mean, if you take, let's say we take Smash from last year, right? Yeah. It's, it's been around for like seven years. Four years. Yeah, it's it's really it did. Really uh, in real talk, it did feel like seven years. Uh, and you, you put it on a Switch, I think it would be vastly different. I think it, the Switch has better graphics. Than the uh, last one, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, and, and it's a better processor. And so I think as we get these better uh, consoles, I think our games just constantly improve. Okay. So you feel like she'll get some a little bit of improvement. I, I wish... Bit. I wish he still had the forward hit of back there. That was the thing that Shulk originally had. When you go for the back, you see where he goes and right, push right. the sword behind him? Yeah. It used to have a hit in front of it. I wish that still happened. I wish Shulk could still recover from up B and still set the ledge a little bit like he used to be in Smash 4 as compared to this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. To get the more movement there. But unless Nico definitely knows the tools of the character and he agrees. And a lot of people are saying Shulk probably is the top, bet, top five best characters of the game. You think so? I think so. I beg to differ, but that's all right. I mean, we'll find out. Okay. We'll find I, out. I think I definitely think he's top five in the game. At least. I think they're gonna start. I think I think they just continue to unlock shit. Okay. Yeah, I can say that. On this right. You shouldn't be saying that, but shoot. Uh, <laughs> as they unlock it, I think I think you know, uh, I think characters will come. Out. But it's also about how you use them, you know. Yeah. That is true. I mean. We have this player here, uh, Indigo, using Diddy, a, a character that is largely seen as, you know, not that great. No, I'm correct. <laughs> but so, he's, he's holding up his own yeah, against Nico. So you can't you can't necessarily say a character is bad. You know, you don't, it, it's not the character, it's the player. Exactly. I don't want to say Indigo is bad. He has a lot to learn, honestly. But, in but he's holding his own. He's exactly. That, that's, what, that's what I want to say, right? right? After the matchups are considered, the player's strength is evaluated. Yeah. And the player strength you can see as Indigo. He's not winning, but he, like you said, he's going on his own. He's going to still get a few of the DDD things with the Gordos here. So he knows what plays he should be making with DDD. That's what happens when you pick a character like this. You immediately know what you're working with, yeah. and you have to use the best of them. Uh, now, they're getting a lot more ledge time. Oh, yeah, definitely. Than they were. And uh, that was one of my, my, uh, my issues. I think it's kind of a cheat, to tell you the truth. I really do. Like, yeah, I think just being able to, to have it. What, what, do you, what, do you, what do you call it? Capping? <laughs> yeah, I just, you know, if I was doing this in real life and I pushed someone off a cliff, I wouldn't float. Yeah, I mean, of course, you, you wouldn't Can be fine. Can I push you, you off the You wouldn't be fighting. You would be fighting giant penguins. I would not be fighting. Well, after I die, I would be. That would be, that'd be my good place. 
That would be your good place. That would be my good place. It was a Shulk's good place. Do you watch the good place? It was a good show. I'm actually liking all of your shows. Oh, thank you. I can tell you're a very good film aficionado. Uh, I actually have only seen one movie in the past four years. So you're more of a TV show TV show guy, guy. yeah. And you don't get breasts like these on a man by not sitting around and watching TV all day long. So, uh... Yeah, you, you, you tell him. You, you, you tell him. You, you hop off the couch for a man go for a while. It never hurts. Yeah. Well, I do have an hour and a half drive every day, too, and an hour and a half drive from work. So I spend three hours every day. L.A., everybody. I mean, but a lot of people do spend traffic to go to these tournaments, too. Oh. They do. And, uh, and I always want to give a shout-out to Susar. So sorry, I want to always give a shout-out to the community because they always come up to MSM. You know, they've made this local one of the most highest and the most like locals in SoCal by the number of entrance and by Drew making a giant drive. Well, and it's not even that. It's just even people that live by other venues, you know, like the Monday or the Wednesday event, they'll strive, still drive all the way up here and deal with Hollywood. Oh, yeah, definitely. Just to come and play, which is great. Yeah. You know, so you got to give them credit for that. They're definitely not coming to see you. So. No. Well, I mean, some people want to say hi to me, but I wouldn't I wouldn't say I'm the main attraction. The game is the main attraction, not me. Yeah. And they're friends. Yeah. They're friends. Oh, Nico almost immediately ending that with the down air. But Indigo still alive. He's still 181%. I'm surprised Nico. I, you can tell he was trying to shuffle the Monados to get to the shield art. Yeah. A little bit longer, but unfortunately he didn't get that one. Still Indigo finally getting the stock off of him. 0% to Nico with two stocks. Oh. Now, what do you suppose that is in the background there? You think that's a duck in the background there? It's actually a, like a. It's a, it's a Pokemon. Duh. It's. It's a, dog. It's, a, it's a Pokemon. Is that a Pokemon? Yeah. I, I'm 42. I can't. My age. Are you really? You think like this? Yeah. You don't look 32. You look 42 or 41. I think. You look 30. You look at least 32. To me. Whiskey and cigars. Live your life with whiskey and cigars. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's what helps. Whiskey and cigars. I, I would advise people to never. I, I drink alcohol. I just don't. I drink responsibly, of course. Uh, cigars? No, <laughs> not, not a big Cigars time. are fantastic. I, I told myself the day I graduate university, I'm going to have a cigar. I promised myself I'm going to buy